Uh, by the way, the definition of a compare we put last night, and it's apparently someone who attacked a load of show uh, and uh, just had some funny game show. Uh, so there you go. Uh, so in the spirit of a game show, uh, I shall hand over to Ian, who's going to get a bit of a discussion going around some salient topics that we've been talking about today. Ian. Okay, thank you very much, Jim. So welcome everybody to Big Talk. I'm pleased uh, to see you all. You've all had uh, emails uh, from me, so it's nice to be able to put uh, sort of uh, faces to the names. Um, I'm just going to ask uh, one question of, uh, of the panel, and, and thanks to uh, Paul, uh, your uh, question from the inspection uh, framework, that uh, third uh, question, just remind me, is it the, the impact of technology uh, on, uh, on learning? It's the use of technology use of technology in learning and assessment. Okay, so so that really is the question uh, for you. So from your own experience, what I'd like you to do is share with us uh, an example of where technology that either you're aware of or you're using uh, sort of in, uh, in colleges has actually impacted um, sort of learning and assessment. Um, and then, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to think of questions that you'd like to ask uh, the, the panel. So we'll have a chance for four or five questions because it's important that you're able to answer, uh, ask things as well. So who should we start with? Scott, you're the host. So uh, uh, share with us one, uh, one area where uh, uh, technology uh, has, uh, has impacted on learning and assessment. Uh, YouTube in particular. Um, can I just slow down there? <laughs> <laughs> Is he Mr. YouTube? <laughs> I just saw him, man. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right. um, YouTube um, for teaching and assessment a lot at the moment. In particular, we've got our, our English teacher, Lee. I'll show a video of this one with GIF of him later on. Of him actually going through the English paper, paper one and paper two, question one, question two, question three, within that English paper and doing a walkthrough of the exam and going through a model answer as well. But a little video of Lee in the corner talking through why it's um, a good answer, a model answer. The views in week one were fantastic. 72 views in the first week. Lee was buzzing about it and his students going up to him and saying, I watched that twice, Lee. Watch your shit back. And he's asked, um, been asked by students to put in timestamps so they can jump to the bit where he's talking about evaluation or jump to the bit where he's talking about um, SPAG um, that's something that happened last week. So YouTube, both as uh, a guide for teachers to actually flip the classroom as it were, yeah. they were outside for their students, and also as a tool for assessment in the sense that I've got myself and Fiona in health and social care doing video feedback for the students, where their work's on the screen, there's a video of us in the corner talking through, giving them their feedback. We're doing that far quicker and capturing that evidence it back to our students at twice the speed that we would, would have taken to actually hand write it. And students are actually watching it, the view is literally telling Going up. I think it's a really good thing. So a quick show of hands, how many uh, of your uh, uh, colleagues in, in colleges use video to either give out uh, sort of uh, material or give feedback back? Just a quick uh, picture. Okay, so so a good uh, two two thirds. Um, the, 